Hell is shameless, necklace on me decorated What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and I'm back for another vlog. It's been a minute since I vlogged I feel like and kind of just shown you what's been going on with me, what I've been doing and all of that good stuff. So I decided to pick up the camera this week because it is Stella's first week back to school and she's at a brand new school. I posted a picture of her on Instagram before we left for our first day of school and told you guys to wish her luck and so many of you sent really nice messages. So if you follow me on Instagram and you're one of those people, thank you so much. She had a great day she really liked it she said she made a couple friends so i'm hoping that she has a just as good of a day today but yeah it's about like 9 15 now i woke up at 7 and got her ready i'll show you what that was like this morning <laughs> to hurry up and get ready today i decided to do a photo shoot i need to take this hair out tomorrow it's these curly hair extensions from yummy extensions and yeah i need to take them out tomorrow because i'm going to be getting braids this week so i wanted to take some pictures because i realized i didn't take any really nice pictures with this hair in so i hit up my girl danielle who often takes pictures for me she's going to take some pictures of me we're going to head down to miami to this place it's about 30 minutes away and take some cute pictures so i'll bring you guys behind the scenes but yeah right now it's time for me to get ready i need to beat my face i need to get my hair nice and styled and i need to iron one of the dresses i'm going to do two looks hopefully so yeah and i'm going to be drinking this while i get ready so you guys know i've been trying to stay healthy trying to eat right and i feel like over the last month i haven't been eating bad because i feel like ww really helped me like you know think about my food choices and now i don't like i'm just not willing to binge like i would have used to before so i've been eating okay but no i've been cheating a lot so i picked up this it's a two-day detox and it's called Arden's Garden. And it's basically a two-day detox. You have to drink one gallon of these every day and you have to drink a bunch of water in between. So I'm on day two. I'll finish it by the end of today. So I'll let you guys know my full experience then. 
and maybe I'll step on the scale and see what it's looking like. So this is the before, looking crusty and dusty. And this is what I look like after. Hair is done, the face is beat. I have two cute outfits. I'm excited. So let's go get Danielle because I'm way later than I said that I was gonna be. But yeah, my hair came out so good and so did the makeup. Feeling myself, all right, let's go. Before we head to this photo shoot, I want to introduce you to the sponsor for today's video, Green Chef. Like I mentioned earlier, making my days more structured and productive has been a big priority of mine and that includes eating out less and cooking balanced meals daily at home. That's where Green Chef comes in. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well, easy, and affordable with plans that fit every kind of lifestyle including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. I chose meals that are best for a balanced diet and Green Chef delivered three quick and easy recipes and ingredients right to my door. Everything comes pre-measured and perfectly portioned which is great for someone like me who doesn't have a big family to feed and doesn't want to waste food. One thing I love is the fact that the ingredients are always high quality. I'll be honest, I didn't expect the meals to be as delicious as they were, but I have not been let down yet. This peanut chicken and udon noodle dish is one of my favorites so far and a completely different flavor profile than I'm used to. But if this isn't your thing, that's okay because each week there are 9 recipes to choose from so things always stay exciting. That's something I've been struggling with. I always get stuck in a rut and end up making the same things over and over and then I eat out way too much to satisfy my desire for something new. Ordering meals with Green Chef is way more cost effective for me and I love the fact that it takes care of the planning, grocery shopping, and prepping so I can spend more time on other things during the day. It's so easy to get caught up with work and by the time you think about dinner you're missing ingredients and nothing is prepped because you forgot to plan ahead. With Green Chef, all it takes is less than an hour for me to have a balanced meal made with quality ingredients on the table for Stella and I. If you want to try Green Chef for yourself, then go to greenchef.us slash 90minimarley and use code 90minimarley to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Thank you so much to Green Chef for sponsoring this video and for making my life easier. All right, we are at our location. Oh shoot, I need my mask to go inside. out by the manager for taking pictures without permission but we're about to take another outfit period period <laughs> but yeah changed outfits about to find one more spot and take a couple more pictures but the first set came out so nice danielle is the goat danielle is the goat next location right here yes all right we're trying to scope it out i like this Alright, so we just finished taking pictures and it came out so 
good i'm so glad i came to this place i basically saw on my girl natasha leads if you don't follow her you should definitely follow her but she took some pictures here and tagged the location and it's called upper buena vista and we we're like let's go there because it looked so bomb and it really was i had two looks it came out so fire we even made like a whole little real thing and i can't wait to come back just to actually enjoy the place get drinks have something to eat because they basically have little restaurants or little different shops and juice places smoothies like anything that you can think of they have like a little something so it's very tulum vibes. yeah i felt like we were in tulum <laughs> like you can't you tell can't... me i wasn't into this was we just went on a mini vacation pretty much Mexico. so and i can't wait to go home and edit these pictures and edit everything but yeah um it's like two o'clock now and i have to pick up stella at three so we're about to head out oh let me tell you so we went in there and we we're taking our pictures and everything everything was fine the lady that um told us to come in or whatever i feel like she knew we wanted to take pictures and she said yes come like you have to see like go back there da -da -da -da. so we're thinking everything's cool so we finished taking pictures at the first little spot and we're about to move through the place and go see something else and i think the manager she must be the manager the way she came up to us but she was basically like um the next time you want to take pictures in here please make sure that you ask for permission before you and i'm like oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but she wasn't even like oh it's okay she like she was like, just like tag us yeah I'm like because we got good service yeah at the juice place yes yeah, so after shout we out kept to mario. Taking, yes shout out to <laughs> mario in the vista what is, what is it oh no, no it's no, called no. it's wait it's on the oh devia <laughs> Devia juice bar. So I'm on a juice cleanse. Before you call me out, I got a natural juice. This is basically kale, carrot, lemon, and ginger, and it's so good. I picked the perfect thing. But the guy who works there, Mario, he was so nice. He was talking to us. He let me like sit with the pineapple for my picture, <laughs> and he gave us samples. And it was hot out there because we were in Tulum. Um, so. <laughs> And he was so good, so he made up for the bad customer service at the beginning. But we love this place. We're definitely going to come back for drinks, so mm -hmm. stay tuned. I might be posting that in the next vlog. But yeah, let's go home so I can get Stella from her second day of school. What's up, guys? It is the next morning. It's Wednesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. I'm not doing anything special. I wish, because I have so much work to do today. When we got home yesterday, I pretty much was so exhausted. I was just editing the photo. Stella took a nap. I made her some fried rice and, you know, regular night. Then I dropped off Stella this morning for school, and I ate my first meal of the day, and it was so delicious. I probably ate a little more than I should have coming back from this cleanse, but I was just so happy to be done with the juice cleanse. I was craving so many different things, and I just had to make myself a nice breakfast. It was delicious. But yeah, just to give you guys like a little recap of that juice cleanse in case you're interested in trying it. Um, I started it at 200 pounds. Um, as you guys know, if you watched my What I Eat in a Day, I was 215 on January 1st. I lost 10 pounds in my first like two months of WW. Then I lost another five. Then I just kind of stayed around that 200, 199, 198 mark. I was just fluctuating right there. And I wasn't doing much, so I decided to do that juice cleanse. And today when I checked on the scale this morning, I was 194, okay? So I'm really, really happy about that. But I know most of it is water weight, so... I'm gonna try to start running again as much as I can. I have been running, but not as often as I was before. So I'm gonna start trying to keep running and get back with the healthy eating. I am about to wash this hair because I'm doing an Instagram takeover. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today. Just, you know, I'm showing you guys some behind the scenes of me getting this work done. So I need to get started. Hey guys, it's Brianna, but you might know me here on Instagram as Mini Marley, and today I am taking over the Nourish and Shine Instagram account to give you guys a little behind the scenes of my wash day using products from my favorite Nourish and Shine collection. You guys, it took me way too long to do my hair and do the stuff that I needed to do. This day just did not go as planned. Everything was going wrong, and I spent so much time planning this out yesterday, so I'm very annoyed but that's like Stella's home yeah <laughs> um and yeah i actually have more 
stuff to do like work wise so i'm gonna try to hurry up and do that in from that way and you come over here with the camera like that when i'm talking to it so that you can catch it actually turning to me and i'm gonna come in with this stuff so basically like you're gonna keep it in the frame so you can see that it turns to you when you talk to it okay okay start from here and then go like that keeping it in the frame like that to like that alexa add gogurts to my shopping list you already have gogurts on your shopping list <laughs> Remove Gogurts from my shopping list. Oh, wait, okay. Tell us this is the best day of ever. When I do this, you, you take your room. I'm gonna say, here, Stella. Here, Stella. And I'm gonna give it to you. And then you, and I'm gonna say, I think you might need your jacket. And I'm gonna ask her a question. And you can walk, and well, just pay, pass her, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Here, Stella. I think you might need your jacket. Alexa, what's the weather outside? One eternity later. I am at Stella School. We're about to drop her off. I'm gonna be doing a lot of things this weekend. She's gonna be at Nana's house. So I just wanted to give her a chance to say hi. How are you liking your new school? Good. You love it? Yes. It's nice? Yes. What else do you have to say? Look at your mouth. Wipe your mouth off. You have yogurt on it. Go like this. Alright, let's go to school. Get your bag. Oh, we also wanted to show you our car. So Cadillac hooked me up with this car. This is the 2021 XT4. Do you love this car, Stella? Yes. Stella really insisted that I show you this car because she likes it better than our other car now. But I'm really excited I get to drive it all weekend for all my little festivities. So, yeah, but let me get Stella in class because we're low-key like a few minutes late. All right, so I went to the grocery store after I dropped off Stella. And now I want to put some beads in my hair. So I went to the beauty supply store and I bought a ton of these beads right here. It's a little bit different than when I had the jumbo braids because there's only a few to put beads on. So now I'm trying to figure out how I should do this. But I think I just want to use the top section of braids. Like the braids that are right here. Alright, so I did this kind of pattern. I don't know, is this too much? Two, four, six, eight, nine. I think I did nine beads when I had jumbo. Alright, there we go. This is what it looks like so let me tell you guys when i got to publix just now i um like pulled in and i was looking for a parking spot and i saw this um older white man and he was standing next to his car and kind of looking around like he was looking for help and he asked like he kind of waved me down and asked me um to wind down my window and he was like excuse me can you help me like i'm trying to put my car in reverse and i can't and i'm disabled and his arm was kind of shaking a little bit and he was like can you please like help me put my car on um, reverse my car like i can't do it this and this and this whatever and uh, let me tell you for some reason i got so scared i watched too many true crime um youtube videos and podcasts and i was just like what if this is this man's like technique for getting women in his car or something he was older and he did look disabled but you never know these days people pretend to be all kinds of stuff and next thing you know you're snatched up in the back of somebody's um car and you're kidnapped and to make it worse i was like okay let me help this man so i parked my car and i went over to his car and basically he had his um driver door open and i saw like a rag next to his chair and i'm like oh no like i'm dead for real like he probably has chloroform in the rag i'm gonna get in the driver's seat he's gonna grab the rag put it over my face so i was like oh no so i was like oh sir like get in the car and i will try um and i'll go on the passenger side and try to like help you start the car and whatever whatever so i ended up doing that and he was able to get out of the spot he was like thank you so much um you're so nice blah 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 like so he really was disabled he really couldn't get out 
and I helped him, but I was like, times are so crazy, man. You can't even help somebody without wondering like what their motive is. Like you hear stories all the time where people pretend to do stuff like that and then they kidnap you. And I'm like, wow. And then on top of that, recently I had this crazy experience on the road that also kind of had me on edge. So I was just like, oh no, like, I don't know. But basically the other day I was driving home from taking Stella to school and I was like approaching an intersection where the, like a major intersection basically. And I was gonna make a right turn. So I'm in the far right lane, right? But to turn this way, you guys are the intersection. I'm about to turn this way to go right. And I kind of briefly like looked over and saw out of the corner of my eye, this white guy, he was bald in a pickup truck and it looked like he had a flask in his hand, like he was drinking out of a flask. I don't know for sure, but I feel like I saw him drinking out of a flask. And whatever, I'm just minding my business, driving towards the intersection. And all of a sudden, this man in the pickup truck just starts driving his car into my car. Like if you were trying to run somebody off of the road, purposely driving it into my car at the time I didn't know it was on purpose and there is a lake to the right of me remind you I'm in the far right lane so only thing next to me is a lake and luckily I don't react like that there's been multiple times where cars have tried to kind of drive into me or something has happened and my mom always told me never like quickly turn your wheel that's how cars flip over that's how you know you crash into the wall you end up in the lake like I could have so I didn't react, luckily, but I was like, what the hell? Like, you know, when somebody does something like that, you're like, what the heck? I look over and I see the guy laughing hysterically, right? So at this point, I'm like, wait, this man just did this on purpose. This man is racist. So I'm, I'm saying it funny now, but at the time I was really shook. Like, I was like, what the heck is wrong with this man? So after this man tried to run me off the road, he literally goes all the way left and goes to the far left lane. And at that point, I'm for sure, okay, this man did this on purpose. Because at the back of my head, I'm still thinking maybe he was trying to get in the right lane to turn and he didn't see me because he was in one of those big white pickup trucks. And I was like, maybe he just didn't see me. But the man goes all the way left and goes to the far left lane. So he literally was not trying to to get over and nothing like that he just wanted to try to run me off the road or god knows what and i'm like are you kidding me so we both get to the actual stoplight i'm in the far right he's in the far left but i can see him from where i am i can see into his car because he's directly next to me and i'm just staring at him like what the heck like why would you do that right and the guy looks at me and he's like what 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 are you gonna do what are you gonna do and like keeps laughing you guys I was so livid. I was also so shook because I literally almost ran off the road. This guy tried to come over onto me and it was a huge pickup truck. It was way bigger than my car. And he's just there laughing and clearly did it on purpose. Clearly he's racist, maybe drunk. And I didn't know what to do. For a second I was like, should I follow this guy? And again, we're next to each other and he's in the far left lane. So for me to get behind him, I'd have to cross all these lanes and you know it would be, be hard and i couldn't see his license plate from where i was at so i'm like should i follow him should i get his license plate um and you know some when people do crazy things to me on the road i get upset and whatever but this day something just told me just go home i was really close to my house something just told me just go home don't follow this guy don't say anything to him you don't know him you don't know what he could have in his car based on his redneck description he probably has a gun in the car and things could be way worse so I just went home. I was so pissed though. I was just so, so, so pissed. Moral of the story, stay safe out there. Don't react to clowns like that that are trying to get a reaction out of you so that they can then justify whatever they do to you because that's probably exactly what could have happened. But anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and then come back and show you. It's like 12.51 right now. I have to leave my house at three to head to the boat. Wait, did I tell you what I was doing today? So me and my friends are going on a yacht here in Miami. So most of my friends, well, I lied. Some of them live here and a couple of them are out of state because they're in school or working and everybody is currently in town. So whenever everybody's in town, we like to do something. It's also my friend Jason's birthday. So we were like, let's rent a boat. So I'm basically in the process of glowing up in the moment. I did my braids earlier this week and I got my nails done a few days ago. I'm obsessed. They came out so good. What? You never know. We're finally here. Oh Everybody was in shambles, okay? Hell 
feeling shameless. Necklace on me decorated. All this got me feeling jaded. Hold up, hold up, I'll be waiting. Bad thing on my radar. Tell me that I'm in for me. Hey, it's the dog bikini for me. Blow a bomb, she a lotus. I be thinking that I'm famous. I remember when I prayed for this. No sleep, cause I'm anxious. All this shit for entertainment. Crazy thinking that it's day one. All this been for the taking. Yeah. Hold it down for the nameless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been on a grind, yeah. Like I'm really on the rails. Like my life is on the line, yeah. I've been getting mines in. I've been on a youth. Nothing left to lose. Get into the bag, yeah. Happy birthday to Jason! Yeah,